Hello, Drake here. Sorry about the horrible camera quality because I'm actually using another camera I found in a box somewhere just plugged into the computer. Um, as much as I can buy better cameras right now, I'm doing a what you call financial cutback. Um, I'm not saying that I'm in that position. I do know student loans are returning. Sorry guys, I had to pay every single penny of my $3,000 ITT loan and I still haven't gotten a six-figure job. So, welcome to my world. The tables will be turned in one month or less. I'm actually excited, but why? Because I love seeing when everyone else fails. So, tip point here, don't fail. I failed many times. I have many businesses that failed. I have many things and ideas that turned to trash. I'm actually cont contemplating going through a lot more stuff. I'm so glad I got this guy made. I have another purple one, but no one wants to pay 600 for it, which is surprisingly, if you go to the maker, she charges 750 plus to almost 1000 now. So when I see stuff like that, I've now learned my lesson, but I probably won't buy anything that custom anymore because... They're nearly impossible to replace. That doesn't mean I don't like custom stuff. I will build stuff. But if I build it, it's mostly for me now. And if I sell it to someone else, unless they're willing to pay an arm and a leg, it's my interest is kind of not there. Truth be told, I was just talking to someone that pretty easily paid a $500 project. And yeah, if, if the hombres you bring over apparently is giving you 3000 a month, so that shouldn't be a problem for you to do that. Regardless of how much you do get a month, I... Okay, put it this way. I can't afford a 500 k house. Even with today's 7% mortgage, no way in hell. You'd be paying for four houses by the time you're done with the payment. Unless you're one of those very select few that can push a button and write a check for 550000 maybe. You're, lu you're lucky. But in those huge kilobucks range, you know, it's fun to watch the radio give away 10000 for a raffle or whatever. So I'm not really pushing in a lot of stuff anymore. But if I sell some of this stuff, it kind of sucks because computer stuff. I was, oh, you must be rich selling all that computer stuff. Okay, you go buy a Switch for $300 and I literally have to pay you $20 to take it. Well, okay, fine. I could probably list it for 50 bucks, maybe $100, and maybe it'll take a year to sell, maybe it'll take six months. I don't have a year to sell storage and everything. It's going to cost me more to hold on to it. So you can see why computer equipment, as durable as they are, they're not energy, they're not, I shouldn't say energy efficient is the wrong word to use. They're just not efficient for today's consumer market. They do have a market. Don't get me wrong. If you buy a commercial grade power supply, Sure, that thing is going to be bulletproof, but what's the average Joe going to do with it? You can see it's a very niche market, and that's the problem with technology. I'd say the same thing with custom toy markets. It's very niche. The problem is thanks to stupid cancel culture and all this other wolf bullshit I don't really want to get into, it basically has ruined the U.S. economy. That's all I could say, and there's no way you can make that work because to be prosperous is to be productive. And with things like quietly quitting and many other things that fall under that category, being the fact that I'm multi-purpose, I don't mind doing stuff, but if people don't want to pay for it, there's only really two options. Either A, you leave it half. Remember, if you ever watch Ghostbusters 2, I think it's 2 is the one he did it, um, they go, you're going to charge that much? I says, oh yeah, we can release the ghost back in your building. I should be learning that. I'm actually going to go find that clip if I can because that actually makes a good meme to how I feel about the fucking world today right now. I mean, if this entire student debt thing crashes the entire economy for the next year, I'll be clapping. Because those of us who actually played the game in the correct way without cheating, apparently, is actually going to win for once. Otherwise, normally, cheaters can win. And as a person who's been in two SPAs and as well as a few lawsuits, you eventually get busted. 
So that's my quote for today, five minute vlog.